Do you know the situation when you create almost perfect image with mid-journey, but some parts you don't like? For example, the eyes may look weird, there is some messy background, or even some parts are just bad? So instead of just going ahead and starting from scratch and hoping for better results, I've got you covered. So in this video, I'm bringing to you the ultimate mid-journey editor guide. Give me only 10 minutes and I will show you how you can edit your images to perfection and get better results. So Let's dive in. First of all, you need to get access to Mid Journey Editor. So, when you are in your account on the website, you need to go ahead to the left top corner and click on Edit. And here, this is the space where it will work. So, in general, we've got two different options to upload our images. Because it's kind of very important, so we are working on existing images. We can either upload from URL or just upload our images from our device. For this case, I will choose the second option. So for example, I've got this image of this handsome man. And now without covering all of the options about it later, let's make some edit. So first things first, we've got at the default our erase. So to begin with what we can do, we can specify actually the space where we would like to make the changes. And here in the prompt box, I can type handsome man in a baseball cup. And after I do this, I can go right here to the right top corner and click on Submit Edit. And now after several seconds, our image is generated. So the results are decent. In the right top corner, we've got different variations. So this is the first variation, this is the second, third and fourth. And also here, if you would like to come back to the image with the mask applied, we need to click here. So now you know how to make first edits. We can erase something and create the prompt for that. However, at the left side of the page, we've got some options. So for example, we can move our image and yeah, change the position of that. We can restore specific parts. So let's say, let me restore this part. I can do this. I can use kind of this magic wand to select some part. So we have, for example, the background. Um, so let's go back. Here, when it comes um, to that, I can remove, isolate and cancel. If I did something, for example, let's say, um, yeah, I erased additionally this part. I can yundo or even redo my action. Or even if I wanna, I can actually reset my entire edits. So for instance, let's say I just moved the image, I just changed some parts and so on, so I can reset that. Below the reset option, I can suggest the prompt. So I can simply click on that and it will generate for me a prompt um, actually describing this entire image. Then afterwards, we've got this brush size option. So we can change the brush size. For example, if we would like to um, erase the background, we can choose the bigger size. However, when it comes to the parts closer to our character, uh, we can decrease the size. Then we've got our image scale. So it is very great. Let me reset that. Uh, we've got our image scale. So for example, we can expand the image in some specific directions. And here we've got aspect ratios. So what is very cool? Because we are moving to outpating technique. Let's, for example, pick aspect ratio, which is one by one. So now what we do, we take this image as a base and additionally, we provide here some specific parts. So let's say um, handsome young man on a dark, let's say on a dark background. I can simply generate that. And by this way, I can expand this image and change the aspect ratio. So here, as you can notice, we can choose. Now it's starting to generate. Uh, we've got, yeah, 50%, almost created. Um, let's see how it will look. Um, so nice, you can see we've got different aspect ratio. And the results are very great. Additionally, as you can notice, uh, yeah, we can manipulate this aspect ratio and do all of the stuff. Now let's move on to downloading our image. And here we've got actually two different options. Because in the left bottom corner, we've got actually our option to download image instantly. So we can click here, or even we can upscale to gallery. And here, um, simply, um, let's go over here. And there, we can just download it. Um, so yeah, it's starting to actually upscaling. We need to wait a while. And now after process is finished, as usual, in the right top corner, we can click here to download an image. Let's go back to our editor and make some changes. For example, let's change the suit to something else. Maybe let's say, 
uh, we would like to have some t-shirt. So for example, handsome young man in a vivid, let's say t-shirt, t-shirt, uh, we can simply uh, run it, or even before, let's go ahead and decrease the brush size, and now what I can do, I can go over ahead and make this man um, smiling just more, so <laughs> it's looking very weird, however, you know, a portrait of a handsome young, let's say, smiling man, smiling man, in a vivid t-shirt, let's say, white teeth, um, and now we can submit this edit. So after we do this, it's quite nice, however, we don't see, like, this white teeth. Nevertheless, let's make some other edits. In order to start a new project, you need to go ahead to right top corner and click on this button which is new. Afterwards, you can upload some artwork. So now let me actually take, for example, this nice cup of tea or even coffee and change the background of that. So now we can use the tools that we learned um, in this video. So first of all, what we can do, uh, we can erase some of the backgrounds. Um, let me do this very fast. So approximately, um, yeah, the area that we want to remove. And here we can use our select option. So for example, we can exclude um, this part. Let's go over here ahead. And kind of by this way, we can select this area and here click to remove. So now we've got only our cup. Um, also, we've got it something here. We can remove that. So we can provide other background. For example, let's say a cup of a tea in the, let's say, home office. It would be very nice. We can submit edit and see what happens. So now you can notice it looks really interesting. So it was our kind of the preview. Yeah, we've got yeah, different variations. It's really nice. And for now, if we want to make other changes, so for example, provide different mockup, we can go back here and for example, type a cup of tea on a dark modern, um, let's say table. We can run it again. So for instance, from one single actually um, yeah, image, we can create different variations and that's pretty cool. I think Mid Journey Editor works very well in that particular case. So now look on it, it's very cool. Um, especially I like this version. So we've got some T, yeah, and we don't even see that here we have any edits. It's looking like this image was at the first time on this entire kind of, um, yeah, the scene. So it's really nice uh, so that we have it. Now let's talk about something which is called retexture. So we can find this option in the left top corner and it allows us to change the style of an image to, for example, watercolor, sketch or something else. So simply we don't have here any options. Simply we need to go ahead and, for example, type something like a cup of a tea, um, in watercolor style. And after we run it, you will see what happens. I really like this feature. So just look on it, that's pretty cool. So we've got original image, and here other variations in watercolor style. So let's type, for example, a cup of a tea as a sketch. Um, let's go ahead. As a sketch, let's submit that. Also, you can notice next to the original image, we've got this air sign. So it means we are using a um, retexture option. However, now let's see how it looks. Wow, yeah, it's very nice. Maybe I didn't specify actually the sketch, um, which is black and white. So let's go over and type it. And right now the results are absolutely gorgeous. We can take any image and turn it into a sketch, into a watercolor clip art, for example, or provide any style we wish. And last but not least, let's talk about the difference between two editors we have inside of the Mitch journey. Because actually when we click on organize and we go ahead to any of our image, so for example, let me pick, um, let me pick for instance this image, I can go over ahead to the right side of the page and in the right bottom corner, I can click on the editor. 
And right there, I've got some basic options. So I can erase, restore, for example, um, change the size of the brush tool and so on. So here we've got less options and also we can work on the images we created. However, when we go ahead to the edit option, we've got this editor, which is more sophisticated. Here, we've got just more options. So we've got it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave me the like for the YouTube algorithm, click the subscribe button, and for now, that's it. I will see you in the next material.